Hello, folks, and welcome back to Elden Ring. All right, we're at the Great Bridge for no real good reason. I think I see a path over this way that might lead around here, and we might be able to go into it. Um, there is a map over here, which would seem to indicate that we can go to this larger area. I have no idea where this road connects, though. Or this one that also has a road. So there's something over here. We just don't know how to do any of this. I feel like... Yeah, okay, it looks like there's a there's a path that goes south from here. So that's how we do this one. I have no idea about this one. I suspect, though I do not know, that we can go this way and we'll start exploring this a little bit. But we can see that this is the coastline here. So obviously not going too far west. But there's got to be something else around here. Um, I think... We've only seen your tree here, but I don't think we battled at it. I don't remember if we actually talked to the merchant back here or not. I don't think we did, which is why he's not marked. Oh dear. Am I I terribly sorry. Uh are you here as a customer? I mean sure I can be a customer. What do you got? You got unseen assassins. For Two thousand runes, sure, why not? I'll buy both of those. I'll buy the stone sword keys too. I mean, they're expensive, but whatever. Um, I can't even tell how many I have right now, so I'll just buy those. I don't need a festering bloody finger. I will definitely buy the cookbook though. And the shields are cool, but I don't think it's actually worth it. All right, you know what? That that was nice. That was good. I don't think I have anything to sell you. Nah, not really. All right. Oh, I must apologize. I, 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 I'm, I'm afraid of very little to offer. That's more than I gave before. Okay, so... Oh, there's a portal here. Okay, that's got to go to the Earth Tree, right? Seems pretty likely. I mean, there's bad guys down there. I have no idea where this portal goes. Let's try it. Did we take this before? I might have taken this before. Let's try it again. We can always come back. Well, at some point we'll be able to come back. I guess not immediately, sometimes. Okay, so that took us past the Erd Tree. Took us past everything, really. Yeah, it kind of looks like basically the bridge is broken, so they made the magical gateway instead and took you to the other side of the bridge. So past the Erd Tree entirely, which I guess I can be okay with. I mean, there's some ruins over here we probably want to explore later. Like, say, the Woodfolk Ruins. Um, I totally forgot about Mirage Rise. But apparently we've dealt with some of this before, so I'm okay with it. Though I do kind of want to go over here. So let's loop around to the western side and see if we can explore this a little bit. Let's make a marker here. Did I delete my other markers? I did. Okay, good. Okay, so let's loop a little bit here. Try stealth. I'm bad at that, but I appreciate the thought. Hmm. So like a broken statue of Marika there. I mean, it seems more stealthy not to use our horse. Is that a giant rat? Of course it is. We're going to fight giant creatures. Definitely want to be on our, on our best here. Yep, that's a giant rat. Okay. And a smaller giant rat. But still, still giant as far as rats go. As far as rats go, that's pretty sizable. West Windmill Pasture. I mean, it's a beautiful windmill, don't get me wrong. It looks like it's in a bit of disrepair. Well, everything in this place does, right? It's kind of just how it goes. The place has been torn apart by the... the ring wars here. Doesn't seem to be a way inside the windmill. There is a big old fat rat here, though. Let's see if we can taunt him out a little bit. There we go. Giant rat ashes. We can summon our own giant rats if you feel like it, but I don't think I ever feel like it. Ah, right, where'd you go? There you are. Problem for not locking on. Okay, not much else here, aside from the windmill. Okay, 
Okay, so we want... Yeah, that looks like a church, possibly. Liar head. Probably somebody else saying to jump. There's almost never an idea for jumping. Although, I guess here... Might be a jumping point. Some regrets that I can actually touch these guys. You know what? Off the horse. So I think the horse is probably our best way to jump here. So the dragonfly kind of confused me a little bit. But yeah, maybe. There's a guy over there. That seems like a weird position to be in. There's also a guy over there. Okay, I can make this jump. I can make this better with the horse, though. Yeah, a lot easier, too. I think these guys are the one who's mad. Um, now their eyes aren't glowing. They might not be mad. They might just be regular angry. Alright, down here. Hello. And hello. You have treasure. Does that matter at all? I can't seem to touch these dragonflies. Okay, lock on, maybe? There we go. I locked on. There we go. Yep, lock on was the key. There's another one, too. There we go. I had to lock on at the last minute, but it worked. Um, okay, you've got a banner. I know there's a bunch of guys around here. They're all pretty weak, though. Okay. I mean, might as well grab this. And take you out. And then you. And the guy meditating up here. He's a mage, and those guys are dangerous. That's still surprisingly not all of them. Uh, you're digging for something, huh? Ruin fragments, probably. Okay, easy enough. Are we back down to the broken bridge? Did I go backwards? I did go backwards a little bit, but we, we want to go backwards. I hear dogs. I see an army over here. Hey, guys. Oh, I ran right into their spear. That was obviously not a good idea. I did not kill him. I might need a... I might need a range weapon here. Let's take care of the fire, guys. You're out. I can take care of you guys when you expose yourself like that. Thank you. Just a little bit too dedicated to that thrust. Yeah, see? That's an issue. Overcommitted. See? That's the problem. That's why I don't like spears in this game. They make you overcommit. Oh, there's another caravan over there. If we can actually intercept that. I would love whatever they're carrying. Alright, let's go. Okay. Um, before we go into there, though, let's deal with these guys. Good thrust, good thrust. Missed me, but, you know, I appreciate the attempt. Got some archers on the way here, too, looks like. Just don't get trapped. We definitely do not want to get trapped in here. Good so far. Oh, okay. Let's get rid of these archers. Like you and you. Oh, didn't actually get rid of him. It's all right. He's got magic power. Okay, no, no. You got me. So did you get me or did you get my horse? I kind of feel like you got my horse. Okay, you got me there. And apparently I keep on missing you somehow. There we go. Okay, where's the caravan at? Didn't actually go too far down. The giants are going to be annoying. And also the other guard here. Eh, he's a big old pumpkin head. Hello, pumpkin head. Oh, you were weak, pumpkin head. You need to take more, like, I don't know, fiber in your diet or something? That was really bad. Hey, giants. Oh, yep. Yep, yep, yep. I always forget about the stomp. How do I always forget about the stomp? 
And I always get in the way of it, too. Like, every time I go right underneath the raised foot, like, that's a good idea. Okay, that time I... Well, they at least missed. But they keep on raising this correct... The same foot over and over again. Or, okay, not that time. Why are you crouching? Did I miss something? My poor horse. Okay, re repair my horse a little bit. And yeah, maybe they know that once they stop being beaten a little bit, they can just stop. So maybe I don't need to touch them. Okay, what do we got inside? Precious jewels? Not that, it, that would actually help me at all. A great star flail or mace or something. I, I don't know what this is. Nobody's around, right? Uh, it appears that we are alone for now. So let me go ahead and take a look at this thing. Oh, wrong button. But there is a guy over there we need to be slightly aware of. Uh, yeah, it's a great hammer. Well, I already have a really cool great hammer right now. The Envoy Longhorn is pretty good. And... This has an Endure ability, which is fine. Oh, the Blood Loss buildup could be okay, though. Also, the Serpent Hunter, which I don't know what to do with this. Um, yeah, I don't know. The Blood Loss is interesting. I don't know if it's worth doing all the trouble to level up another weapon again, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stab, stab, stab. Did we actually make it to my marker, or am I just killing random soldiers now? Kind of feels like it might be the latter. I'm doing me wrong. It's fun, and we have more than enough uh, runes to level up now. Okay, no, no, you got me. You got me. Chop. You're gonna kill my horse again. We're not careful. Okay, would Strike Weapon actually be better here? Because these guys seem to be a little bit more resistant than I'd like. Or am I just not doing quite enough damage? Okay, now I think I took him down from full. Yeah, they're armored, so I guess it would make sense Strike Weapon would do better, right? Pierce damage gets deflected. That's kind of the whole point of armor. Whereas this, the whole point of strike weapons is to, like, say, never mind that you're armored. You still take bruise damage. Right, we do need some thin beast bones here, so... Sorry, bud, but you gotta go. That was an altus bloom. Didn't even do anything. Okay, I need you to... Yeah, give me your thin beast bones. Okay. No thin beast bones at all? I guess maybe I broke too many bones? Problem with using a strike weapon, that's basically what it's for. Uh, bridge over here. Do I want to go this way? Where am I going? Oh, this takes me back over to the Bridge of Iniquity, and then we... Yeah, okay, okay, okay. So, we've already kind of, We've probably already been here. I just don't remember it. I'm kind of surprised there's no side of grace around here. I think it's the main reason why I thought I hadn't done it. Okay, well, fun as that is to just random murder fo fools here, that's not helpful. We want to keep on going forward here, so that's the windmill. There might be another windmill over here. How does it just drop off? Uh, there is an edge here that kind of indicates yes. That might actually just be the end of the world. Yeah, a whole bunch of windmills over here, but that might be it. There might not be anything else. Okay, right back along the road, and let's verify that. But I think that might be the risk. Oh, does there no item over here? Yeah, it's already been well and truly robbed. Okay. Well, so much for that. 
Uh, we can go up to the ruins here. Yeah, those windmills off in the distance. But I think that's going to be it. I think that's the edge of the world. I think we're reaching the northernmost quarter. Uh, what are you? You're a big old slime thing. Yeah, you're a gigantic slime is what you are. Okay. Uh, volcanic might work for you, actually. Let's deal with your little friends first. Okay. Took a good chunk there. Okay, I'm gonna get hurt here if I'm not careful. Or die worse. That'll work. Okay. And if this is just full of slimes, we're actually totally fine here to wait a little bit. Oh, hello, dead dog. Not just full of slimes, though that is one corrupted dog. So he's getting me with bleed, not with any kind of scarlet rot or anything. Okay, let's equip. Um, I can't craft anything right now. Oh, there we go. Less interest. Okay, I think the volcano pot's probably the way to go here. We could go in, but I don't think we need to. That was not a lot of damage. Apparently, fire is not the right answer for this. So they're not. It's not Scarlet Rot that's the thing then, because Scarlet Rot guys are always weak to fire. Whereas I would not call that a weak to fire response. Okay, we can try a strike, maybe? Yeah, strike weapon is definitely the way to go. Okay, three hits, then wait for him to attack. Let's me build up my uh, stamina. You almost got me. Good job. Oh, come on. There we go. All right. That was disgusting. I should probably go ahead and make more volcano pots. We've got enough stuff for it. And one, not just one at a time, though. Let's make seven at a time. There you go. Thank you. I hear something gurgling or something. I have no idea what that is. Okay, have to be spending some glass shards. Again, don't know what that's for. I do see a lot of things just around, but I don't know what I'm hearing. I guess it could be the sound the corrupted dogs here make. Yeah, maybe it's just corrupted. Oh, it's like he was trying to eat the slime. Okay. And it was just taking it, too. Like it wasn't even trying to get away. That's creepy. Like, usually when someone tries to eat you, you try to, you know, run away from it. I think the growling I'm hearing is coming from this direction. I think we've been down there. I don't think anything good down there. I could be wrong, though. It does look vaguely familiar, though. Oh, hello there, doggy. You missed. That was just a single hit. Take you down. That's good. Strike weapon's the right call here, then. Where do you think you're going? Yeah, the problem... Is that even a strike on the shield counts as a hit for the bleed, so that's an issue. So ideally, we want to, don't want them to hit at all. Though the, we do have a good bleed resistance right now. So we can take a few hits if we need to. Oh, they're dropping thin beast bones. Ooh. Why is there a summoning pool here? Huh. I don't even see where there would be a boss fight. What am I missing? I'm obviously missing something. 
All right, grab what we can here. Maybe that's the, the gurgle laughter thing I'm hearing right now. Maybe that's the boss. Okay. We can try fire pots on these guys, but I don't know if that's gonna work either. Eh, it's okay. It's all right, it worked. Kinda. I feel like strike weapon's probably the right call here, though. Oh, sorry, not strike. Piercing. Mostly because I can do overhead. If I couldn't do the overhead push, I would definitely be worried about this. But since we got enough room over my head to be able to do it, I think we're okay. Don't see any other dogs, so I think... Oh, okay, there's a... There is something underground. That must be what the... Uh, what the summon pool's for. You almost got me there. Good job. Come on. Over here. There. Thank you. That's all of them, right? Oh, uh, nope. I still hear more. Oh, uh, there's another guy right here. Hello. Were you, like, hanging out on the ceiling or something? I didn't see you at all. All right. Come on. Come on. There. Great. Means there might be another one hanging out. I don't see anything. That doesn't necessarily mean anything. Yeah, the gurgling, I think, is happening either downstairs or further out. Let's go ahead and head downstairs. My guess is Stone Sword Key needed here, but we'll see. And, of course, we need a light, as always. Oh, yep. Yeah, turns out there's a boss. Blood loss ahead. Enemy. Oh, enemy. Okay. Let's go. I think the jellyfish might be okay for this. Jellyfish have served us pretty well so far. Of course, so has the militia. You know, let's trade out. Let's trade out for the militia. I like the jellyfish, but the militia are actually leveled up more. Uh, where are the militia right now? There they are. Oh, no, they're the same. They're totally the same. Oh, well, okay. That's fine. We have the magic for it, so it's good. Um, and I guess just in case... Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't change the flask. I need to do that. As soon as we get to another side of grace, we need to change the flask. The regen's still there, but the sacrificial twig aspect is not. I think we have endurance regen on it right now. Nothing great. All right. Well, let's get in here. Assuming, of course, we can even summon, which is not guaranteed. Oh, no, there we go. All right, here we go. Okay. Sanguine Noble. Hello. You do have a lot of bleed. We fought one of these guys before in a, in a lake, I think. He is so dead, though. Yeah, he's got no recourse here. That was it. You know, if the militia hadn't distracted him, that would have been a lot harder to fight, for sure. So, good job, Militia. I also did get a bit of bleed, but the immunization talisman is working out pretty good for me here. Don't see anything else I need to do in this area, so through the door it is. We're also over-leveled for this, so that helped. Oh, hey, chest. Cool. Behold tarnished. All right, sure, thanks. Bloody Hellas. Uh, if it's a great sword weapon that gives bleed, I might be interested. Heavy thrusting sword. Causes blood loss buildup. Unable to use effective. Oh, an eight arcane 17 and dex 19, neither of which I have. But is it in fact a thrusting? No, it's a. Okay, so it's not a great sword. It does do a. It does have reach. So there's something to it. I mean, we can use it pretty effectively now. That's a pretty cool move. That was awesome. That's a good retreat move. Oh, that's so good. Okay. That's really fancy. I'm kind of a fan. I mean, I don't know if we'll ever use it, but that sounds that looks so cool. That's a cool skill that costs no FP to use. It is to retreat skill. Oh, okay. Well, I, I need to. I need to. I need to level up for this. 
It's going to cost us a lot of arcane and a lot of decks to do it, but we can totally do it. How, what am I to level right now? We can level up right now, but not level up enough to use it. Though we can't use it effectively, theoretically, but we might still be okay. What does it take to use this thing? Oops, wrong button. Dex 19, we're not there yet. And Arcane 17, we're also not there yet. But we do have a charm that lets us up our stats a little bit. I totally forget where that is right now. It's around here somewhere. And here we go. Okay. So that raises our stats a little bit. Um, still not enough to use this, I think. Um, to actually raise our stats enough. Can't actually tell what it did. Take that off. Yeah, okay, so it raises our dex to 16. Oh, no, it doesn't raise our dex at all. Never mind. Never mind. Intelligence, faith, arcane, and mind. So mostly... Um... Wait, why would... Okay, no, we can raise our decks here. And that would just raise our decks. With no downside. So that takes care of the dex requirement. And then we just have to worry about the arcane. Of course, we need to raise our decks at some point, too, to make sure we don't always need this talisman. But that's a start. Yeah, okay, so now we just need to raise our arcane by four. I mean, that's a lot, but that's doable. Oh, but now that we have the dex requirement... Now we make a fancy sound when we do it. Yeah, but that way we have reach. Which is the main reason why I go for the great sword anyway, because of the reach. Okay, we definitely need to level up this weapon then. It's probably going to take some more smoothing stones, isn't it? It's very, very, very likely. That guy coming in with two giant hammers. Oh, uh, that looked impressive. Okay. Okay, but yeah, the bleed build-up could be really good, too. Alright, let's go to the round table hold. Uh, let's see what we can do. The hell's the round table hold? There we go. Alright, let's see what it takes to level this thing up. My guess is a shit ton of summer smithing stones, but I might be wrong. Hello there, sir. Well, I took you for my match. Lay out your own. Okay. Yep, summer smithing stones. Okay. Okay, so I need summer smithing stone eight. Um, which I don't know where they are anyway. I need that for all of them. So we still don't have a... We got this up to plus seven, which is the same as everything else. So that's... I guess not the Envoy Longhorn. Somehow we got that to... How did we get that to level 10? We must have had a Summer Spinning Stone 8 somewhere. I don't think we can buy Summer Spinning Stone 8. I don't think we have the bell for it. I think the bell would be in the mountain, which I guess we need to go to at some point. But hey, we found a cool weapon. So worth going to that area anyway. I right, don't have any bell bearings to offer. I do not. Okay. And no summer spinning stone eights. And we can't even get past four. How would I get the eights and the nines to be able to do it then? I should just randomly come across them. All right. Um, do I? Can I upgrade my ashes at all? I think I have the same problem, right? I can't get plus seven right now. Or can't get past plus seven. Greetings. Hello. All right, I would like... Oh, no, I can do the Militiaman Ashes app. Great. Um, get you up to... So there, that's the Grave Love Work 8s anyway. Um, what I would also like... Yeah, is this guy raised up a little bit? Oh, I can raise him up. Okay, I can raise him up. Good, do that. Good, get him all the way up. Because he's very, very okay. Now, I did great glow score work for that. I'm okay with that. Keep going. Okay, so he's maxed out, I think. The question is, do we want to max out anybody else? I guess the jellyfish might not be it. Oh, I can't do anything more than the jellyfish. Need the grave level work 9 for that. We don't have that. Raising the ancestral follower is a little tempting. 
Mausoleum soldiers are pretty garbage. Rat ashes are pretty garbage. Yeah, I mean, the lone wolves helped for that first boss fight, but we've never used them again. The militiamen are nice because they keep on coming back, and this guy's nice because he does, like, a debuff range attack all the time, which is good. And the battle mage is good because he'll do both range and, like, a huge hammer attack. So all those are good. So I'm happy with what we currently have set up, I think. The rest of them, I think we're going to go ahead and dump in the chest because we're never going to use them again. Okay, so we've got progress. Most likely, the uh, the next step is here in the mountain type land place of the giants. Uh, we already did the countercombs. Where do I need to go here? Hold on, back up. Okay, yeah, yeah, that, that's past the bridge, which we definitely need to be to. I went far off to the left, went to the shack to the lofty. I'm surprised there's not a set of grace there. I guess this is the next step here, is this. Um... Oh, but there's a there's a passageway, or at least it looks like there's a path this way. Okay, wait, how do we do this? Snow Valley Ruins. It looks like it's under the bridge. Stargazer Ruins. Wait, how do we get here? Okay, so we did this long walk. Oh, we did this nonsense here with the definitely horrible bad guys here. Full of fire and fury. Basically, we went under the bridge. That's what it was. We went under the bridge here. And we want to loop around. That's why we did this. But apparently we got here. I don't know why I retreated from there. Oh, because there was a bad guy. That's right. That's right. The The bad guy we fought was around here somewhere. We took him out. That's what it is. Uh, we didn't fight the Erd Tree. That's kind of what this looks like. It looks like a, basically the Erd Trees are deciduous. So this is probably the Erd Tree during winter. So I think that's what we need to do. Going down this river path might be next. Seems like that goes up. I don't see how to go on this path, though. Unless there's a way to climb up here that's not immediately obvious. And that's a quest. Usually these are quest markers. Um, I guess we go to the east and pick up that quest. So let me go ahead and mark it. And then go here. Now, technically, the weapon we have equipped we do not have the right stats for, so I don't know how this is going to work. We'll raise our arcane a little bit and see if we can get it up, but um, we're not going to get there quite right. Oh, no, I can't actually do that yet. Uh, I don't think I have enough runes otherwise to be able to level up. Okay, so we're just going to be a little short on arcane. I don't know what's going to happen if we don't have the right, um, the right stats for this, I think. We do less damage, but I'm not actually sure. So we might need to change our weapons. We'll fight these snails. It should be relatively safe. Oh, except for this guy, who's not safe. Okay. Yeah, no damage to him whatsoever. Okay, that, that's rough. He just rolled right up on me. All right. Okay, took his head out. I'm good with that. Oh, right. Need to finish him off. There we go. Hello there, little snails. Strike weapon seems good for these guys anyway. Damn skele snails. Okay, so we definitely need the stats to be able to use the, the equipment, which makes sense. Makes total sense. I wanted to bypass that, but I guess it makes sense that we can't. Okay. So shield will stop you. That's good to know. I wasn't entirely sure when I did it, but it was kind of by reflex. Ah, these guys are going to be annoying up here. Okay, so I should unequip this weapon until we can use it. Arcane 17 is not bad. We can get there. It's just going to take some time. Uh, this looks like a bridge. I need to be on this bridge. See if I can pick you off from here. Okay, well, it got your attention. Oh, but that's a bad thing, because you're ranged. Okay. Okay. Oh, somebody went off the edge, it looks like. Hello there, dead soldier. Oh, a lot of dead soldiers. Okay. But they're all pretty weak. 
Oh, don't die to it, though. Drink. The freaking ashes got me almost. There. Yeah, the, the archer's there, not the ashes. The archer's got me there. How do I get up there? I can't get up. I don't know. Can I? Maybe from here. Oh, you know what would have been better? Horse. I have a horse that can jump. Okay, take you out. You're gone. You fell down. You're dead now. Go ahead and drink. Okay, a little risky. Almost lost my life there, but we didn't. I don't know how this archer got aggroed on me. I'd rather not take the endurance damage from blocking his hit, so that'll work. Am I going the right way still? I marked something and I've lost the mark. There it is, that way. Ah, oh, this is a big giant graveyard. That's why there's so many undead around here. Uh, am I even going the right way? Like, this is the most direct path, but that's hardly ever the real answer. A uh, bit of a drop. That seems untenable. So yeah, I'm going to have to go around. Somewhere down there's a quest, though. Well, as long as there's no big, giant ghost skeletons rising up out of the ground, I'm going to call this a win. Like, yeah, these guys are annoying, but they're workable, you know? Whereas the giant ghost skeletons are definitely more trouble than they're worth. Okay, big scythe man. I mean, he's, he's got a motif and he's sticking to it. So, good job there. Okay, you've got a friend. You've got two friends, don't you? Yep, there's a third guy over here. Okay, you got me. Good job. Oh, okay. Disrupt my poise. Drink. I think the other guy's gonna come back if we're not careful. Yeah, he came back. Oh, damn it. it. Just hit so hard. I guess I have, like, no real armor, huh? That is a risk. Wow. Nope. I'm dead. I'm so incredibly dead. Not dead. How am I not dead? I can't kill these guys permanently, though, because the other guys are distracting. Okay, there we go. Now maybe not so distracting. Take care of you is your most distracting. Okay, there we go. There we go. Just had to take care of the big trouble first. And the other ones are minor troubles at best. Okay. Yeah. Not the only one to have trouble with this fight, apparently. That's a lot of bloodstains. Holy required ahead. That's not quite how that works, but I get it. Beware of skeleton, therefore try guard counter. I mean, if I knew how to do a proper parry, that would be something. Oh, this is a big open area. I kind of hate it. Uh, might be time to mount up. Okay, that's supposedly where the quest is. Oh, well, there's a stake and breaker right there. Um, actually, is that a stake and breaker or is that a summon pool? Also, what is this? Uh, well, that's a, that's a telescope right there. Um, yep, that's, 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 um, that's what I was looking at, yes. Also, apparently from very high up, which I don't think is the way telescopes work. Ah, okay, there's a scarab over there. And it's a big open area. This is obviously a boss fight. Yeah, this is not, that's not how telescopes work, but okay. Um, let's go ahead and... If this is a summoning pool, let's go ahead and activate it. Okay. And then I guess we go ahead and call in our militia for this. I think we definitely get on our horse. Um, there is no militia here. Well, let's see what happens when the boss comes up. Because you know the boss is going to show up here. That other fish over there keeps flashing between red. Okay, there's actually a boss fight there. 
Kind of expected to be in the big giant area, but okay. Kind of surprised it's not in the big giant arena, but what do I know? Actually, not even. Okay, sure, yeah, just stones are key. Maybe not even a boss fight. Like, this might just be a secret area. Uh, give me some light here. It's kind of dark. I'm not sure that helped. The fog is more the trouble here. Okay, sure. Always love me some uh, refresh of all my abilities, so thanks. But you know what we haven't done? First of all, we haven't changed our flask, which I said I needed to do, so let's do that first. Make sure our physic. Change that back over to the uh, the Twiggy Cracked here so we can get multiple attempts. We didn't change our spells out. Uh, so maybe get rid of... Yeah, just a, a way to cure poison just in case. And... Uh, sure, why not? A ball of raging fire. Why not? It's been a while since we actually upgraded our Clawmark Seal. It should probably be like 15 or 16 by now, but I just have not paid attention to it at all. So we should probably do that soonish. So we do have the runes for it. Another summon thing. And now I'm really curious if that was supposed to be a boss fight and just didn't trigger for whatever reason. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, that wasn't horrible. And they have a path down, at least. Okay, nothing back there. We just have to go this way. Um, Tentacles? Oh, you guys are summoning. Okay. All right. Yeah, I think it's summoning. Okay, that was decent. I don't know if he's going to keep on summoning, though. That is definitely the right call. Okay, you're out. Yeah, yeah, he's just gonna keep on summoning, so we need to take out this thing here. Oops. Oops. <laughs> okay. The summoning tentacles have to go because they're summoning the dogs endlessly and there's no recourse. So we need to take them out. Always shuts off my light. Actually, maybe the strike weapon is actually bad for this. Let's go for... I mean, it seems like holy might be the way to go. Okay. So the bubbles were doing really good. So there is a pit there now. Do we need to go and fall into the pit? I mean, it was great the first time, but do we actually need to do that? Okay, it looks like he's going to summon anyway. So, what if I say no? What if I get my crossbow? How's my crossbow at? There we go. It puts me on heavy load, so I gotta be careful of that. Um, what's a good way to get off my heavy load? I don't really have a good recourse right now. I don't want to change... I mean, I guess I can change my decks, right? I don't need to worry about that right now. Yeah, let's get the arsenal chart. There we go. Okay. Get my crossbow. Now just aim for this guy who's summoning. Oh, come on, really? Yeah, I can hit the hit the wolf, but that's not what I want. I thought I could charge it up, but no, it's not a thing. Okay, so crossbow's not it. What about my regular bow? Because that I can at least aim. Oh, right, I need more arrows. Okay, well, anyway, this should do. Okay, apparently it goes a straighter shot than I thought it would. Oh, this is going to take a while. This is going to be a bit. It's going to be quite a bit. It's going to eat through all of my current arrows for sure. Get my endurance back. I have all the currently equipped arrows. It's not going to go through all of my arrows, but it's going to go through a good chunk. I guess I did speak up some more thin beast bones. We can make more arrows. 
The trick is, once he dies, does it do his summon die, or do I need to take care of them too? There we go. He's out. Okay, the summons do go. So that's great. It's funny they didn't actually bother going up this nice wood log that's supposed to be the route up. That seems strange. Um, where did I die at? Backwards. Okay, so there's another guy in here who we need to take care of. So, yeah, where'd the drop point come from? Was it here? Is this right now? This is not where I dropped because I don't remember being able to go backwards at all. First off, left. By the way, something ahead. Okay, thanks. Under something ahead, we should definitely go there. I think this is closer to where we go. Why is it always a dark spot? That's a fair question. I don't know. Okay. I think this summons are... Yep, another summon here. Okay, do we just need to charge this guy? There we go. That's what it is. Okay, so he was ready for me when I was falling, but when I come in the easy way, he's totally not ready for me. There's another summon guy here, right? Uh, maybe. I don't know who this guy is. He's trying to get up to me, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, Disciple of Okino. Hello, Disciple. He's apparently making himself bleed. He's also got some bleed stuff going on right now. Okay. I don't have a lot of bleed resistance, so this is bad, obviously. Oh, yeah, blood loss. Yep, 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 yep. Drink. Oh, I thought I'd be able to dodge it. Drink. Drink. Okay, block it, and then hit him. And then block it. And then block it, and then hit him. Crap, I only hit him once. It's okay, it's okay. It's down to half. I still have the blood loss, but so does he. Oh, he has that awesome recovery, though. Good hits. He almost got me there. But I got him first. He didn't drop anything, did he? Sometimes they do give you immediately. Sometimes you need to pick it up. Apparently, this was neither. Okay, so this, the thing I heard wasn't a summon, it was a NPC of invader. You, though, are trying to be a dick. None of that. Freezing grease, which I can't use. Okay, you're probably not real. I mean, you look pretty real. He also go out pretty fast, so maybe not. I don't see where the summon's coming from, though. Bunch of fireflies. Yeah, he's gonna keep on summoning. There he is. He's over there. He's over there. Go, go, go. Oh, damn it. And another disciple comes in. I mean, the blood loss is just icing on the cake. <laughs> or insult to injury. One of the two, depending on your perspective, I suppose. Okay, well, so much for that. So much for that. All right, we will come back here. Maybe there's a better way to deal with these long-distance nonsense. We'll figure it out. For right now, thanks for watching. This has been Elden Ring. I'm PC Universe here, PC Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.